Hello folks, this is Singin' Toad, and uh, today I've got a brand new knife. And uh, if you can see by the box here, although it's a little bit uh, blurred out, uh, or bleached out rather, light bleaching, I, I need to get some filters going on here or something. But anyway, um, if you can tell by the uh, the embossment there, you can probably figure out that this is a Victorinox knife of some kind. But uh, anyway, before I get into the big reveal of what it is, I have to do some naming and shaming. Uh, and that is because uh, I got this knife uh, because I saw it on another channel and I thought, man, that's a pretty cool knife. I got to get me one. So, uh, Patty from Potato, Patty's Potato Peelers, I'm blaming you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not blaming him at all. But uh, I did see this knife on his channel and I thought, that is a really cool uh, Swiss Army knife. I do need to go ahead and get me one. So, I went ahead and did so. So anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's take her out of the box. Well, there we go. We have the Victorinox Explorer. So, uh, the reason why I decided to get this knife, uh, as I previously mentioned, I did see it on Patty's Potato, Pe Potato Peelers uh, video uh, quite a while ago now, and, uh, and, and I really, really liked it, and I wanted to get me one. Um, but what attracted me to this particular one is that this is basically everything that the super tinker has uh, but better so as those of you who follow my videos know i carry a uh, victorinox uh, super tinker uh, as an edc uh, option and you know what makes this knife great is that it's got you know the main blade it has of course the small blade it has your standard openers uh, it has the scissors which are uh, right here, which are really, really good. You know, the Victorinox scissors are uh, very, very good scissors. Uh, and then, of course, on the reverse, it's got the, uh, it has the, the Phillips head uh, driver. It has the uh, the uh, three uh, functional all, all reamer punch and sewing uh, eye. And, of course, it has the all-purpose hook. And, of course, uh, you know, you have the uh, the tweezers and the toothpick. Now this guy I've upgraded by adding the plus scales which has the pen and uh, and then of course I've got the little pin tucked in underneath here uh, and, and I've got it in the uh, in the blue uh, because blue is my favorite color. Um, but uh, at any rate I really really like this knife but uh, one of the things uh, that I get a lot of flack about is because I'm in the Phillips uh, uh, driver camp I, I get a lot of hate because uh, I, I don't carry the corkscrew uh, when I tell people oh I like the Phillips driver right away I get people who show up in the comments and and uh, and, and have to uh, force their opinions upon me about how uh, how terrible I am for for not having a, a corkscrew <laughs> I'm kidding folks that, that, that's a joke uh, but uh, but yes this and this doesn't have the corkscrew and the corkscrew is a useful thing to have so you know what is a good Swiss Army knife that is like the super tinker has the corkscrew but also has a Phillips driver well that's the Explorer model so let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look at this guy so you know you again you have the small blade you have the big blade uh, you have you know your standard openers uh, however when we start to get into the meat potatoes of this thing you know you get the uh, the the, uh, the scissors but of course we get the uh, Phillips driver but it's in line so much like an actual proper screwdriver it's it's in line rather than let's just pull the super tinker back out again uh, over here so the Phillips driver is kind of a kind of a t-shape which you know, this facilitates a lot of torque, but I'll tell you the truth, if you really were torquing on this, you're just going to wind up bending the frame, and uh, and I've actually done that on, on uh, some of my other Swiss Army knife models. I've actually bent the frame by uh, by torquing on these a little too much. So, the other problem is that depending on where the screw is located, like if it's if, if it's up against something, it can be a little bit awkward to get this in there to, to, uh, uh, to, to use. Uh, where this guy here, of course, uh, you know, is is in line, so it's it's a little bit narrower and easier to get into harder to reach uh, places. Plus, you've got the reach too. So, you know, this is more of a of a twisting action, much like a proper screwdriver. Uh, you know, much the same as you know the way the flathead uh, would operate. You know, uh, so it's got that, but it also has this guy here, the magnifying glass, and. 
you know, my eyes are not as good as they once were. And I'm getting to that age now where I'm struggling to read fine print. So I can pull this out of the pocket and, you know, if I'm having to read the back of a bottle of pills or something in the, in the, uh, in the pharmacy or something, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that age where I have to worry about things like that. Um, but I can, you know, I can read, you know, I can, I can zoom in and read. And of course, yeah, I could use the camera on my phone, but, uh, this is just far cooler <laughs> in my opinion. And of course, what else do we got? Well, we got the corkscrew. How about that? So, you know, I'm getting the benefit of having, you know, the Phillips driver and the corkscrew in one multi-tool, uh, plus a, uh, a, 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 a magnifying glass. You know, how cool is that? Now, I don't know if the magnification factor of this is strong enough to, uh, to use it to, to start a fire, um, you know, to, to put it into kind of to, to move it more into that uh, survival kind of tool thing, but uh, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to look that up, but uh, maybe if anyone knows, they can put that down in the comments if you know what the magnification uh, power of this lens is um, offhand, but uh, I don't know offhand, but, you know, it allows me to, uh, to, to, to see uh, better, uh, and, and that's, uh, that's a handy thing. But of course, I'm not losing anything. I still get the all-purpose hook. I still get the, uh, you know, the, the three uh, functional uh, all, uh, and of course, I get the uh, the, uh, the the course screw, and of course, it comes with the standard toothpick, and uh, and the tweezers. Now, this does not have the plus scales. Uh, this I've gone ahead and put the sapphire blue scales on. It did come with red, uh, if actually, uh, but I did have these blue ones laying around, and I put the blue on because, as I've mentioned, blue is my favorite color. Um, and then, of course, I have this neat little uh, uh, Victorinox uh, lanyard, uh, pocket lanyard here, just to help pull it out of the pocket. Uh, and who knows, maybe I'll put a, one of these uh, gizmos on it, like a super tinker. But uh, anyway, that there is the, uh, the Explorer, and uh, <laughs> I'm really digging this thing. Um, you know, is it going to replace my super tinker? I don't know. Uh, I do like the fact that, you know, the tinker is a three-layer knife versus a four-layer, so it's, it's a little bit thinner. Uh, so it slides into the pocket uh, easier, that's for sure. But uh, but yeah, as far as uh, I do have a Field Master, and the Field Master is a four-layer knife. Now the Field Master, of course, uh, doesn't have the uh, the inline driver or the magnifying glass. It has a woods uh, saw, which is definitely more useful to me out in the bush uh, than um, uh, than the screwdrivers probably would be. Although one could argue that the magnifying glass would be useful out in the bush. Uh, you know, maybe for identifying plants and things like that, you know, or, or looking at seeds and things. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a biologist <laughs> or a botanist rather, but, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, that there is the, uh, is the, uh, uh the Victorinox, uh, Explorer and just, you know, the kind of showed against, uh, the, the super tanker. Uh, I got this because I thought that was really, really cool having, uh, you know, the inline, uh, Phillips driver, uh, you know, and of course, uh, having the corkscrew, you know, the best of both worlds. I get the, the inline driver, uh, Phillips driver, and I get the corkscrew uh, all in the same uh, multi-tool. And the fact that it's got this really handy little magnifying glass uh, just kind of completes the package. Uh, and, and I guess uh, that's kind of where they come up with the Explorer name. You know, the Explorer is looking at a map or something. And I guess that's something I could use it for too. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. Excellent little multi-tool, uh, the Swiss Army knife. This is a neat one. Uh, this is definitely going to stay in the collection. And uh, and I got to thank uh, Patty from Patty's Potato Peelers for showing this one uh, a while ago now. Uh, uh, I think I even commented on his video and said, I got to get me one of those. And uh, well, there you go, Patty. Here I am spending money based on uh, something I saw off of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, buddy. All right. But uh, anyway, uh, that's what I got to say about that today, folks. Anyway, this is kind of just a fun video, just presenting a, a neat little uh, uh, Swiss Army knife. Uh, I'm going to invite you guys to come down to the comments. What is a knife uh, that you've seen on a video uh, by another YouTube uh, person? It doesn't have to be me. It can be anybody. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd be flattered if you bought something because it's something you saw off, off of my channel. But, you know, what, what is a knife that you saw on someone else's YouTube channel that you saw a video, you liked it, and you went out and bought it, and then you were happy with it? Uh, I would like to hear about it. Uh, please put that down in the comments. I'd love to hear your story. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks very much for watching. This is Singing Toad signing out, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care, folks. Bye.